farms. Oh, by God. Just out here early this morning. Taking a walk around the farm. Around our campsite area, pond there. Where we were working yesterday. Just checking everything out. And, uh, taking a look at everything we did yesterday. It was a long, hard day yesterday. But we got a lot done. I'll turn y'all around so y'all can see. But yeah, we got a lot done. Cleared off the pond down, as you see over there. We walk y'all up here, let you see that. <clears throat> there was a lot of stuff growing around the pond because we hadn't been maintaining our, our dam and around the pond like we should. But you see the camper over there, campsite, tractor. Oh, four, six hundred, been doing us good. But yeah, we're coming up on the pond down now. We got to do a little work here on the overflow because this is where the pond is supposed to overflow with or whatever. And then we setting it up to run down here on the side of our culvert driveway and then run. We're gonna have a creek going down through there and then into those that brush over there and then on out of our property or whatever. But yeah, been cleaning up the pond down. I stopped around about in here, got too hot yesterday. Still gotta do that section over there. And then we clear it out around this side. Don't go too close to the pond tires. Yeah, you can walk up here, Tyus. It's pretty low. Yeah. Yes, old pond. <clears throat> we came out here this morning to feed the fish. We uh starting to feed our catfish. We got some catfish, bass, brim in here. All type of turtles. But yeah, this is the farm. This is the section where we was working it yesterday. We cut out bush hog all this grass. Burning burn piles, piling up sticks. Cleaning off the pond dam, cutting down trees off of it. My wife, when I was cutting down the trees from here, she was dragging them on down and piling them up down there. So we still gotta gotta burn that burn pile. Look like I see the horses back there in the distance. You can see back there on the back part of the farm, back by where the pigs are. They love that grass back there. Yeah. Got a burn power right here that been sitting there about two years that we need to burn. Alright boys, y'all come on back down this way. Yeah, just walking around early this morning. Fed the fish. <clears throat> Looking at everything. What's up, Noah? What's up, baby? He's a little grumpy. What's up, little grumpy? Yeah. The IG Farms, all about God. Working with our hands so we can have something to give those who have need. Just out here walking around, just <clears throat> looking at everything. Everything looks good out here. Oh yeah, looks beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh yeah. Yep, yep, yep. But yeah, we'll probably be headed on back to Minister Base today. We've been down here for the last couple of days, doing a little work, camping out, getting things cleaned up, so we can get ready to go into the next phases of our farm development plan. We're gonna try to get some, some fencing up. We got about 3,000 feet, maybe even more than that, a fence, perimeter fence, just to get our property fenced in. And then uh, <clears throat> we're gonna work on some infrastructure. We got a barn that we're gonna wanna build down on the uh, barn site down there. And then we got got to finish up our pig fencing uh, so we can get back to breeding pigs. We had a bunch of pigs. We had like 25 pigs about three or four months ago. And uh, you know, we either butchered, sold, or gave away pretty much all of those except for five that we keep them for breeding. 
one male and four females. Yep, yep, yep. Let's see, we still got burn piles going a little bit on the campsite from where we cleared this up. You couldn't, you couldn't even see through here or walk through here because it was so overgrown. But we got that old four or six hundred tractor that you see over there, and we cleared it out. We cleared it out. Where you going, though? Yep. Yeah, it's IG Farms, all about God.